What is going on, everyone? I just want to talk real quick, real briefly about this situation. That is truly just comical to me. It really is. And it's in regards to Mike Trout. And obviously, he stays with L.A. He signs that big contract. And what this really tells you is free agents are not going to be hitting the open market like Bryce Harper or Manny Machado did. Teams are going to be kind of taking control and making sure they stay with that organization before they even hit the free agency market you saw with Mike Trout, you're going to see it with Mookie Betts. So that's why that Bryce Harper steal was awesome. But what this relates to is the fact that this Philadelphia fan base just assumed Mike Trout was definitely 100,000 million percent coming to Philadelphia to the point where they are so upset and so disappointed at him that they're going to boo him. They don't want him at Eagles games. When he comes up to the plate, they're going to destroy him. Just because he's from here. I just don't understand that narrative. I don't hate Mike Trout for this situation. I don't even think about it in regards to the in, to regards to the Phillies because first off, it was so far away. It's multiple years away. You know a talent like him would have got attracted to, uh, by the Yankees, the Red Sox, the Dodgers, the Cubs. Every single team and their mother would have offered Mike Trout that money. I don't understand the fact that the fan base just assumed, just thought there was, there was no shot he would go anywhere else. He was definitely coming here because he's from South Jersey and he's an Eagles fan. It's ridiculous. So pretty much, I just want to know your thoughts down below because this is hilarious to me. If you're going to boo him, if you think he should never be allowed to go to an Eagles game again, do you have that type of mindset? Because I don't. The dude got paid 430 plus and... The, the argument is, well, he should have got more. He should have got more. Well, realistically, if you want to build something, you can't pay one guy $650 million in that amount of years and think you're going to stay under the luxury tax. So it's it's great that people think he should be getting paid $600, $700, $800 million just based off the fact that his statistics could be the best ever in baseball. But how do you build a, a, a organization how do you build from an organizational standpoint a World Series championship team when you're paying one guy such an obnoxious amount of money? Now, 430 is still really solid. He gets over $100 million more than Bryce Harper. That's why you look at that Bryce Harper thing. It's kind of a bargain, too. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, Mike Trout is better than Bryce Harper. But it's just, it's comical to me, it's hilarious to me that this fan base has such a ridiculous thought process. And it's not everybody, I'm not saying everyone, but there is a portion that despise Mike Trout now because it was a no-brainer, a lock, that since he was from South Jersey and from the Philadelphia area, that there's no doubt in anyone's mind that he was coming here. You can have a really nice... Home away from home, which is L.A. for him. Oh, wow, what a terrible place to live. That organization stuck with him from the beginning. They drafted him. They took a shot on him. He went through some family issues. They allowed him to, to you know, take time to figure all of that out, which is clearly a very emotional time for him and his family. And they have a really good relationship together to the point where he loves the Angels organization. And that's fine. I mean, that's fine. The fact that you think he has to play in Philly. And he betrayed us. I can't even kind of figure out how that's the right way to think about this. I can't even process that a little bit to think that's right. And also, you're leaving 430 on the table because you want to go play for the Phillies in two years? What if something happens? What if you get injured in those two years? You can't just leave $430 million off the table. Put yourself in that position. Oh, yeah, I would. I, I would just wait until two years because I'm getting it anyway. Stop lying to yourself. It's a lie. It's a lie. He loves LA. He loves Philly. You can do both, especially when you play for an organization that you feel comfortable with and you obviously have a connection with. It's not a terrible decision by Mike Trout whatsoever. In regards to winning, everyone's got to make the jokes. I understand that completely, but it's it's to the point where this fan base cracks me the hell up when it is in reference to Mike Trout. Not. Signing with the Phillies. I'm not billing him. I appreciate his greatness. I'm not billing him. He has no tie to the point where he had to come here. He made it happen. He had to come here. Why? 
Why does he have to come here? Because he lived here when he grew up? Because he likes the Eagles? It's a sick joke. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'll see you next time.